Let's try to do uh, 2 times 4 equals 4 times a mystery number. Now right away, if you know how this works, you can see, boy, this should be easy because I have to do the same thing on this because we have the equal sign here. So I have to do the same thing on this side as this side. So really, right away we could say, hey, the answer is 2. 2 and 4, 4 and 2, same thing. So I could put a little 2 right here and that would work. Now if this gets more complex though, we can do quite a few different things. Um, if you're used to doing this, you can take on either side, if you have an equal sign, if you do the same thing on both sides, you can do this, 4 divided by 4, and I can do, cross those out, and I can go 4 divided by 4, which equals 1, right? So 1, and that would be 1 also. Um, so now all we have left is 2. Okay, so we can do that, or we can do this visually. We can say, well, I've got 2 times 4, so I've got two objects that have four items in them like this. Okay, I got one object there, and let's put it right underneath. 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 times 4 equals 8, right? So I've got eight objects equals, um, on this side, I can do the same thing. I had four objects, one, two, three, four, and I said times, how many, how many times do I need to repeat this set of four? Well, I know I need to reset it again because there's there's two sets over here, so then I'm going to say one, two, three, four, so I've got one set and I've got two sets, so that means I took this four and I multiplied times two and now I've got eight times, um, or eight equals eight, so there's my two. So there's two different ways to look at it.